Hey, this is Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we're in my Golf again and uh, we'll be going through an update for the CarPlay to Air uh, dongle. Um, there's an update recently come out so I thought it would be a good opportunity to uh, capture the whole process and let you know how to generally update the CarPlay um, dongle. So um, we're in the, my Golf at the moment, this is the Alpine X902D dash G7 CarPlay unit wired carplay unit and we've got the dongle in here connected to the auxiliary um, down there um, we are all connected um, at the moment um, I believe let me just check yeah we are um, oddly um, it's showing a red light on the on the unit here but um, we are connected and it's in sync um, so what I'll do is um, the update is very simple. It's um, it's done over um, IP, and um, just by going to the dongle, you'll do a um, a check, and you'll see there's a new version. So you basically go to the IP address 192.168.50.2, and um, you do this whilst you're connected to the dongle, and it's your um, your car is on and the dongle is on and is actually showing carplay uh, on your head unit you wouldn't be able to do this without um, it connected in some form specifically to the car so once it's on and it's uh, functioning you, you would literally open up safari and uh, type in this um, address up top and then this page loads just like this and then um, whatever version you've got if you've got an update it will pretty much tell you that you've, you can update now this is the latest release notes uh, you can see that this version the last version I've got is um, uh, 2019 um, uh, December 31st you can see this came out on uh, January the 9th uh, 1629 it's um, 6 466 megabytes um, so I'm on 4G so it's going to be easy to update this because um, the Wi-Fi is being used for my uh, the CarPlay to Air dongle, so it's not going to connect to my house Wi-Fi. So it's just a simple case of literally hitting the update button and let it do its thing, really. So you can see it's downloading across the air uh, mobile data, getting to 80%. This is meanwhile the the car is still functioning. And I think the dongle probably is still, uh, it's red still at the moment, 90%. So as long as you've got a good Wi-Fi, uh, sorry, a mobile data connection, it will actually update the um, fairly quickly because it's only 4 meg. Upgrade successful. So now it's basically being rebooted. And we're back in again. And I think this is actually a lot quicker than the last one. Yep, we're in. It's a lot more rapid, I think. Not a lot, but uh, it's definitely getting there. And now we're running on the latest up version. So if I refresh this page, this is the latest version. So yeah, so we're on the latest version. You can see there, um, if I try and focus in. So yeah, version 2020, January the 9th at 1629. And if I check for updates again, it will say I'm running the latest version again. So let me just show you that again in focus. Okay, so um, that's it, pretty much. That is updated very quick. Um, and let's just do it from a cold start again. I'll take the key out. And that's ignition on. to the main menu, CarPlay connects to my phone, I'm 
camera in. Oh, that's a large screen. The display is on. It didn't like that. Let's try again. Okay, that's better. Working. So, yeah. Cool, and all this is all coming from my uh, iPhone here. So, very straightforward. Let's get my face ID. You can see me interacting with the controls here is going to uh, change the tracks and in turn change everything there as well. Okay, so that's it. Pretty straightforward and we'll see how this update goes and I'll report back if there's any major differences or changes. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.